Well, today Dagny and I are at the most magical Goodwill in all of the land. And we are going to head in and we are going to see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. So, here we go. Well, today Dagny and I decided that we would divide and conquer. And so we walked into the Goodwill and I went to the left and she went to the right. And we were on a mission for treasure. This was one of the first items that I found on the shelf, and it was a hand-blown vase. <laughs> you can see the pontal mark there on the bottom. It was $6.99, which was a little high for Goodwill, but not high for the piece, so I definitely grabbed it. It was a beautiful blue glass. This little figurine was Occupied Japan. It was only $2.99, but if I recall, the head had been reattached with some very yellowed glue, so I did pass on that. I've learned to always check the end caps here at this Goodwill after finding a whole flock of birds at one point. Now, this little nesting dish set I really liked, but all of the dishes were priced individually, and I felt like altogether they were a little spendy. I did notice artwork here on the bottom shelf and I liked the fall colors. I'm a huge fan of fall themed art. So I did grab this for $2.99 and when I put it in my cart, I realized there were actually two of them. And when you set them side by side, it's actually a continuous scene. So the artist is straight. I don't know anything about the artist, but I liked this scene. And as I've talked about before, when I buy art, I buy what I like. And if there's a resale value on it, that's just a bonus. So I did buy those. And I decided to kind of leaf through the other artwork here just to see if there was anything else and I didn't spot anything. Now I do look through the baskets when I come here and this reminded me of Palm Sunday at church where everybody takes the palms and they make little crosses so I did leave that just because I'm like oh well I can make one of those on Palm Sunday and it, it just wasn't all that exciting for me they've got all of their Easter stuff out now it's replaced the Christmas but it's nothing like the Easter video that will go down in history so <laughs> this bunny was adorable now I did reach into the bin as I was walking by because I spotted this and I knew exactly what it was. It was $4.99. This is a tumble up and it's like a bedside decanter or carafe just to fill up with water and have a glass of water by your bed. It was Bombay and Company and um, it was not Krasno Poland. That was probably my favorite tumble up I've ever found, but it was still pretty good for resale. This was $2.99. It was just an adorable little kitten. And I figured there's a little bit of resale value there, and it's a really cute cat, so why not? I just noticed there was another giraffe mug on the shelf, but I think that that one was damaged. I think I looked at that before. I did like this art glass cup, but unfortunately it was just a single because it was only $1.99. I would have loved to have found a set of them. And I found this on one of the end caps and the camera's not completely focusing, but it was $1.99 and it was sterling silver. So sometimes these coasters are sterling, sometimes they're silver plate, but usually when they're sterling, they are marked and I grab them because Andrew has a nice little collection of sterling. This fish is obviously carved wood. It was $2.99. It's a wall hanging piece and I, I liked the detail of it. And for it to only be $2.99, I will take it. And 
This has been here a few weeks and it is marked as is. I've never really taken the time to see what the as is actually is. But I've passed on it once again. Now I noticed this in the back and it looks older than a lot of the parasols I've picked up. So I did grab this. Dagny buys and sells a lot of parasols. So I decided to grab this for her when we met back up. I loved the bird on it, of course. Now I did see this little kitten here on the shelf and I believe it was a salt or pepper shaker. I did stick it in my cart with the hopes that I would come across its friend. This cat just didn't really meet my fancy, so I left that one behind. This back here is a Westmoreland milk glass with the hand-painted flowers on it. It was $3.99. I did grab this. I don't always grab them, but... I felt like it was it was a pretty decent price, so. I loved this porcelain piece right here, but unfortunately you can see that there is a lot of damage on it. There was a little pack I guess you could call it a little pack of dishes here for $2.99. And I wasn't sure if these were ashtrays or if they were just little trinket dishes, but I did grab those for $2.99. And I spotted this teapot, and it was $10, which seems like a little bit of money. But it is Gibson, and I decided to take a shot at it. Why not? We keep failing at teapots. Let's give another one a try. Eventually, we're going to get it right. So I did grab that. I had looked at this the last time I was in, and it was marked China, so I pass on that. But this definitely caught my eye. And it was super heavy. The bottom was highly polished. It was also $10. I did not see any etched marks on the bottom, but just... The glass is so vibrant, I'm positive it's crystal, and I just wish I knew who made it. So if you know who made it, let me know in the comments, because I tried researching it, I could not find a maker on this, but I did end up grabbing it for $10, based on my assessment that it was very quality. Hopefully I was correct. There were some little dishes here, I believe there are candle votives possibly. Now, I found this vase, and I loved the bluebirds that were painted on it. It was $1.99, and so I did decide to grab it because of the bluebirds. It reminded me of an old design that I see on a lot of porcelain. Now, I finally met back up with Dagny, and oh my goodness, did she find some treasures. This was probably the coolest. It was 99 cents and the tail was made out of twine. So it was a little bit uh, brittle there, but it was just so cool. And we've got a penguin shaker that was made by Frida in case anyone was wondering, but the penguin was just adorable. There was a little letter, little letter opener that she found. And some little egg cups that were brown drip. And a bird. I thought the bird was really cute. It was marked on the back and she did take a moment to look up the artist. And their work sells relatively well. So that was a nice piece. And then there was this. <laughs> this beautiful dish. 
And the Millefiori on this was just absolutely stunning. It was $3.99. There were no chips or cracks that I could tell. And I was super stoked for her on this piece because this was just absolutely amazing. Um, so if you see any of these items that you like, uh, she does list them in her own eBay shop. And I've linked that down in the description under shop with our friends. So if they're still there, <laughs> you will find them. Um, but this dish was just absolutely stunning. I'll admit I was a little jealous, but that's okay. There's enough for everyone. <laughs> she liked my fish though. She complimented my fish and my tumble up and my teapot and all the other nice things I found. <laughs> and then we discussed the vase and how I had no idea who made it, but I was just grabbing it. Now I did find this art and it was marked Roberts. I thought it was curious how everything was pieced together almost like a collage and it was very colorful. I think I liked how colorful it was. And so I did decide to grab this piece. Uh, the back actually had a excerpt about the artist and I believe it was $4. Pretty sure it was a four dollar piece. And then Dagny found this. And this was a little, I believe it's on glass or tile and the birds are hand painted. It was very nice. I found a little bird for chopsticks. Juliet loves chopsticks and she loves sushi. So I decided to get her this little bird that she could set her chopsticks on. I just had to find a place for it in the cart that it would not fall through and break. And then Dagny found this. And this was absolutely amazing. It was $17 though. Um, it was on the very bottom shelf and she saw the broom uh, bristles poking out and decided to pull it out and the bird was carved into the handle. It was absolutely amazing. So we're looking it over now to see if there's any signatures or anything on it. And we couldn't find any signatures. So she spotted it first. She had first dibs on it and she decided to pass. So I was not about to leave it there. I decided that I would take it for $17. I'm not entirely sure of the resale value, but that bird, I mean, it's got a bird on it. You knew it was coming home with me. So um, just hanging there on the bottom shelf. So I did grab it for 17. This was an interesting plate. Uh, the back was marked Oneida USA. A lot of these pieces I usually find and they are made in India or made in Korea. So the fact that this was made in the USA I decided that I would grab it. It's got birds on it. Why not? <laughs> and yes, Dagny did see the bar light that I'm sure a lot of you saw while I was picking up the umbrella. Uh, she decided to snatch this off the bottom shelf and we had to find a plug, of course, because we couldn't buy it untested. And it didn't take very long. We found one. Let there be light. So that was a really cool bar sign. And I think it would be awesome for like a, a in-home bar or something like that. So she did take that with her. Now, this was something that Dagny had mentioned was in the kids section. And unfortunately, his arm had fallen off. He was made in Italy. And um, the, the parts for his arm are still there. So... I decided that I would take him with me, even though his poor arm had seen better days. It was just one of those things that was just so cool. And I didn't want it to get left behind because it was broken, because then it would just, it would get pulverized. It might even end up at the bins. And it was just a really neat piece. This colorful bag was everything. It honestly was everything. I love the colors of this bag and I spotted it clear across the store because how can you miss that? And uh, I just had to have it. I know nothing about it except that I liked the colors.
And of course, I did browse through the bags. I recently had someone comment that I need to learn bags better. I'm trying. Thank you. This painting art, this is not a painting. This was very intriguing because this was some sort of cloth embroidery it was a very interesting piece and I wasn't quite sure what it was and so it's one of those pieces where I buy it because it's different and it's weird and I've never seen it before so this is all embroidery and the glare unfortunately from the glass is kind of taking away from its magnificent but it was a very interesting piece I read a few vintage oven serve pieces here, just realizing the price was 99 cents on that. I probably should have grabbed it, but I did not. All right, well, that was a fun trip to the Goodwill. I feel like we got some good stuff. I was really excited about that tumble up that I pulled out of the bin. That was pretty thrilling because there were a lot of people surrounding the bin as soon as it came out the door and um, that's always scary for me I'm like oh no they're gonna get all the good stuff but I'm not a super competitive person so for me like I'm not in there to throw elbows I will wait until it goes out on the shelf so when I see that happening I get a little nervous like oh my gosh it's all gonna be gone I'm not gonna get any of the good stuff but we did we got some good stuff today so all is well um, now I am going to be tacking on some footage here at the end of the video because uh, Dagny and I did go to Lancaster goodwill but we didn't stay very long because we wanted to come here so that's a shorter video i'm going to tack that on next i'm not going to end the video here but i'm going to tack that on so in a moment you will see that footage and i hope you guys enjoy so here we go so the first thing we found in the door was this silver crest basket and unfortunately the basket handle had come unattached there uh, all, almost all of the silver crest I find here is always broken. Uh, now Dagny found this Cordy figurine, and the Cordy is made by Bolslaw Sibis, um, also of Sibis Porcelain, and Cordy was kind of his giftware line, and it's from the 1940s. It doesn't have a very high resale value, but there is a resale value to it, and so um, she was very nice. She only had a few minor chips, and she did have all of her fingers. So uh, Dagny did end up buying her. And you can find her listed in Dagny's eBay. Now I found this little cat. But it appeared as though the cat was supposed to be sitting on top of something. I didn't want to go down that aisle because I didn't want to go the wrong way. Also, I feel like I looked at those the last time I was here. I spotted this single book end here on the top shelf. It was weighted with something that was very shaky, kind of like a maraca. So I was having fun with that, along with the loud music. Um, you had to have been there, I guess, but I decided that I was going to buy this single bookend and I do buy single bookends from time to time. There were a few tollware trays down here on the bottom shelf, two of them to be exact. And so I decided that that meant I get one and Dagny gets one. So we both took one of these tollware trays to list and I love the design on it the tulips I wasn't really sure what was going on here it was the eyes the eyes really completed the look Now I was checking out this vase. I didn't realize that that shell around it was like a collar and it was going to try to fall off, but I noticed this, this figurine here. This appears to be an older pottery. It would have had a friend. I wasn't sure if this was the matador and it needed a bull or if he would have had a female figurine to go with him, but I put him in the cart to see if I could find a friend. I also was admiring this basket. Unfortunately, it was full of bras, and I didn't want the bras. 
so I left it all. This shell dish I did look at, I believe it was maybe a hobbyist piece. I did like this wooden bowl. It reminded me of another wooden bowl I sold recently with cherries on it. And we did pretty well with that, so I decided I would grab this. Now I've noticed this amber vase and I have to kind of dig for it a little bit there on the shelf, but it is hand blown. You can see the pontal mark on the bottom. I'm not sure who makes it or what nationality it is, I guess you could say, but I really did like the amber swirl of it. So I grabbed it. Unfortunately, this little box had some damage there on the corner. Now I noticed a box full of luster wear. It was $4.99, but there were some pieces missing, so I did leave that behind. Of course I had to check out the teapot. One of these days I'm going to get it right. <laughs> I did like this box as well. I liked the design on the front with the tree. Here we've got another shell dish. And I feel like I've looked at this one at least a few times. Now I did find a few chopsticks and they were cloisonne. And I ended up grabbing these for Juliet because I have told you guys in one of my live videos, I believe, that one of the birds got a hold of Juliet's chopsticks. Um, and they are wooden and they did not survive because the bird thought they were a chew toy. So <laughs> I found replacements. This figurine right here, I believe it's a candlestick holder. It looked to be South American to me. I'm not positive about that, but I did like it. And so even though it was not marked anywhere, I did decide to grab this on a hunch. You can see I'm still carting around that man, but I'm about to put him back on the shelf because I can't find his friend. These vases were modern. They still had modern stickers on the bottom, and you can see there's not a whole lot of wear on the bottom. Dagny found this little hand-painted apple, and it was a little farm scene. It was actually really adorable. A little Amish buggy on there. So that's really all we got at this trip and so that's why it wasn't a complete video but we did get some good stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us well i hope you guys enjoyed that two-part video we did find some good stuff today on that note i am going to end the video and i hope you guys enjoyed i will see all of you tomorrow later